What's going on everyone, it's Josh Elbow. In today's video, I wanna talk about, specifically for everyone in my mentorship group, because this is something that I guess could hit home with me. I wanna talk about the real reason that you're not hitting either, if, you, if you're not, if you're hitting all your goals, like if you're already past that point and you're just in the scaling point, then by all means, then you're, you're, you're ahead of the game. But if you're not hitting your goals yet, if you're not feeling fulfilled, if you're not getting the, like, the absolute highest level of happiness that you can get yet, this is what I believe is why. So I don't think, I don't think you're lazy, um, you could possibly be impassionate about what you're doing. Let's say you're drop shipping. It's it, you might not be able to get super excited about selling a random product from China or from Best Buy or from wherever Walmart online. So you could it could be that you're just not have you're not excited enough about it. But the the thing that the two things that I think it could be, if you're not passionate about drop shipping itself, you can be passionate about the reason that you're doing it. So you need to increase your why, which is why you're doing it. Let's say. If you're a parent, you might be doing it for your kids so that you can provide your kids a lifestyle that you want. If you're a kid, you might be doing it so that you can provide your parents the lifestyle you want. But you need the focus needs to be the reason why you're doing it on the back end. Because any business, if it's not super fun, like work isn't necessarily fun. There's always, especially in the beginning in phase one, there's always work that needs to be done that if you don't have the funds to hire somebody to do it, it's not super exciting stuff. The exciting part is the, the back end. So let's say you got a sibling and like for example, I have a younger sister, I have two younger sisters. I want to buy both of them cars. My why is to make like to get them a car, let's say, for example, like, random examples. My why is them. If my why is big enough, if I want to do it for them, which you know, I highly recommend, I guess this will be part of the mentorship thing, um, finding a why that is for somebody else because like getting excited about going and spending a couple grand at Versace might it might be cool a couple times, but after that, as you mature, I guess it, it kind of rubs off. You'll get a lot more fulfillment out of helping others, which is why I do the mentorship group, because I get way more fulfillment. It's not about a couple hundred dollars. It's about the fulfillment that I get when I get the DMs that say, hey, you completely changed my life. I started doing this, blah, 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 and the results have been great. That's like the fulfillment comes from the helping others, which relates back to the why. The, if the more powerful your why, your, your why will be more powerful if you decide to do it for somebody else, whether it's your parents, your siblings, somebody that you're close to, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, if you can put the goal attached to that. So let's say you got a boyfriend, girlfriend. If you can attach your goal to, let's say you wanna start making $5,000 a month, do an e-commerce, five, 10, 20, whatever. Say 20 grand a month just to set the, uh, a larger goal than, than beginner goal. So you wanna make 10, 20 grand a month and the reason why you wanna do it is so that you can take your boyfriend or girlfriend out to dinner Every single night of the week, you can get them an uh, upgraded like apartment house, whatever. Like, create such a in paint like a painted vision of what you want to do for that other person, and use that as your why. It's been super powerful. It'll help you a lot more than getting like selfish level why. Like beginner level whys are usually things for yourself. And yes, the fulfillment's important, obviously, but it's going to be a lot more powerful if you're doing it for somebody else. The other thing that I think is the biggest issue, so it's not that you're lazy again, it's just that you don't have a powerful enough why driving you, the why is gonna be the driving factor, like the reason why you're doing it is gonna be your driving factor in the end. Um, and this is why, okay, this goes back to another thing, this is why the daily stuff matters, because the habits create who you're gonna be in the next five years. So if you're not hitting your goals, like one of your goals can literally be just to write down your goals every day, to do your gratitude journal every day, to, uh, daily goals daily gratitude and then also following your routine writing your routine the night before like these daily things are you're creating habits that you want to have long term that are going to make you successful it's super you can i can talk to a thousand let's say i talk to a couple hundred people a day less than let's say less than a hundred but let's say i talk to a couple hundred people a day on instagram in the dms or whatever and they all have like they want help with one thing or another <clears throat> I can tell every single one of them, hey, you need to be writing your goals down daily. You need to be doing gratitude journals daily. You need to be pre preparing your next day for the day before. This stuff this stuff takes five minutes to do. Writing your goals, doing a daily gratitude journal, and doing uh, your, your scheduling your next day. It takes five minutes, to, five, 10 minutes to do. Everybody's got five, 10 minutes. You can stay up for an extra five, 10 minutes at the end of the day, as well as wake up an extra five minutes early at the beginning of the day. So it's not difficult to do, but the stuff that's easy to do is also easy to skip. So the challenge is you don't have this habit yet and you, something has it like you haven't had the paradigm shift where it clicked in your mind that you need to be doing this daily stuff because you don't see that instant gratification result. You writing your goals for a $20,000, $50,000 car, it might not happen overnight and that's when you get discouraged because you're not used to hitting goals. So it's a total process. The reason I set up the stuff as it is, I don't go just directly into the money. I go, I start with the mindset stuff is because I think I 100% with conviction believe the mindset and the habits are way more important 
than the systems for the dollar. So the, system, the business system is simple. It's as simple as supply and demand. Find somebody something that somebody wants, whether it's a product or service, and then get it to them at a lower price than they can get it anywhere else. Like it's a purely a value exchange of do you have more value than they're willing to pay? Or I don't that might have came out wrong, but you know you can get what the point is. It's it's super. The business side's simple. The habits and the, the person you have to become, and like it's such a cliche everybody talks about oh it's not about the money it's about who you become it it literally is like the money is such a byproduct that when you finally like consciously have that paradigm shift and you recognize like oh if i provide value to this person they're gonna pay me money and the money is just the result of who i had to become what i had to learn what i had to do to get that value to them it's like your, your pure focus is just providing value and your focus completely goes away from the money, but the money comes in. Look at what Bezos talks about, like all these billionaires talk about, it's just a value thing. The second half of this that I wanna get into is um, it, the, another reason, aside from your why, that you might not be hitting your goals yet, is because of low self-esteem or low confidence. And it's confidence is easy to build because it's it's more of a skill and a mindset thing. So luckily, you can always build more confidence, which is the best news you can hear because you can always get better at it, which you can always get better at everything. So it's perfect. Um, but if I told you that whether it was drop shipping or SMMA, any business model you can think of, you can go start a brick and mortar selling chocolate bars, whatever whatever the case may be, selling something. If I told you that no matter what, you were going to get sales every day, every, or if I said every hundred people you talk to, you'll get one sale and the sales for a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks or five grand, whatever the check number may be, you would automatically talk to that many people because you knew there was a guarantee at the end. The guarantee is in yourself. When I talk about investing with no risk, when I talk about speculating with no risk, I'm my guarantee. My confidence is my guarantee. When the confidence comes from previous results, so you don't have the previous results yet, which is completely fine because nobody starts with previous results. It'd be impossible. It's like learning, like being knowing how to talk when you're bored. Like it, it doesn't make sense. So the way that the only way, like purely just on a math equation, the only way that you can get the results that you want in the future is by getting like practicing and learning how to get them. Like fail your way to success, which is cliche as it sounds, it's the only way that you'll do it. So if you have that fear of failure, which comes from the lack of confidence, you, you'll never ever hit the success level and you'll just like have a shitty life which we don't want for you we want you to have the best quality life so as you hit these goals pretend let for even just to build confidence pretend every hundred people because i know it's way easier than that my closing rate for smma is insane every hundred people that you get on the phone with and pitch smma one person will sign for a thousand dollars so that's a guarantee pretend i'm giving you the guarantee every hundred people that you physically have a phone call with for SMMA, for social media marketing, we'll give you $1,000 a month. So that means if you talk to 1,000 people, I wanna say, the math on that, you'll make 10 grand per month for those clients. And then obviously you gotta learn how to retain them and stuff, but pretend pretend that every 100 phone calls you make, you'll close one, which is 1%, which is be an awful closing rate. But it's okay if it's an awful closing rate at the beginning too, because it doesn't matter, you're, you're learning, you're in the very first stages of it, it's fine. Same thing for drop shipping. Pretend that every 100 products that you create a market around. So now I'm not saying every 100 products you put on your site because that might be easy or every 100 products you post. For Mercari and eBay, every 100 products products you post, imagine that you'll get one sale for $100 profit because it should be way higher than that. But Mercari limits you to 100. I'm not sure what eBay limits you to, but pretend every 100 items you post, you'll guarantee to make $100 profit. You would never get off the computer because you'd be continually posting because you know that every 100 you'll eventually make the money. Then it turns into a time game. So you're, like, your mind is going to be your confidence. Your mind is going to like tell you what to post as you learn and as you go. But start with the fake mentality that everything you do is going to hit a guaranteed goal in your mind and that'll build your confidence even if you like pretend. like Literally just pretend because it'll get you to where you go, want to go. And if the self-esteem and the confidence isn't there yet, you're never going to take action anyway. So that's the reason for for pretending mentally, telling yourself it's going to work anyway, because eventually it will. Like you can't, it's impossible to keep failing forever unless you're clinically insane. And most, like you're not clinically insane. So just do the work, trust the pro. Like I guess the cliche for this would be like trust the process, but shit works. So hope that answers. Uh, hope that gives you guys some like, some insights and feedback. Uh, hope that helps. As always, if you have any questions, post it directly into the group and I'll get an answer for any of you. If you're watching this on YouTube in the future, um, leave a comment below if you have any questions. If you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend it so then you get notifications when I post new videos. If you like this type of content, I'm, I'm doing this to help you guys. I'm not getting paid, obviously, to post this on YouTube. So by all means, I'll see everyone in the next video.